Hey guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play your Xbox 360 off your laptop or computer screen and uh, the program I'm going to be using is Windows Media Encoder. Some people use uh, Descaler but it doesn't work on my laptop so I'm going to use Windows Media Encoder and um, I'll put a link in the description for Descaler and Windows Media Center which um, includes Windows Media Coder. Encoder. So uh, I'm going to start I'm going to probably move to my camera, which will probably make it a bit easier to film. So yeah, um, I will, this is the program, and I will come back when I have set up my Xbox and everything. So, see you in a bit. Okay guys, here I've set up my Xbox to my laptop, and the one thing you'll need is this. It's a capture card. It's the cheapest one I could get off Amazon. It's about six quid. Um, so yeah, it's just basically got the cables to connect to your laptop, and it's just a USB on the, the other side. So what you want to do is just plug that in, and uh, you want to get your three cables. I'm just going to put my thing down. Okay. You want to plug that into there. That into there, that into there. Okay, so once that's done, this is where you use the program. So, I've got all the wires plugged in, goes into my Xbox, and then I've got it connected to the power as well. So, yeah, and then it's all wired up to my computer. So, I'm going to go back onto my computer now and show you what to do next. Okay, now you've got all that connected, all you have to do is open up your Descaler or Windows Media Encoder shouldn't take long. And if you're using uh, Windows Media Encoder, you're just going to go capture audio or video, and then you have to select your device. Mine's called an OEM device. So yeah, just select that. And next, next. A lot. It will go through the setup first time, but it won't really take long. Just keep pressing next. And then when it comes to this, you just want to click the highest option you can get, and then just click finish. So I've just done that. It will come up with this black screen, and you just want to then power on your Xbox. And with luck, it should power on your Xbox onto the laptop screen. Um, if you want to get better quality, and there isn't actually uh, sound with this, so if you want to get a better quality with sound, you're going to have to buy a more expensive capture card to make it better quality and with sound as well. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Okay, please rate, comment and subscribe.